Hello and welcome to this quick tip video. In this video I will be showing you how you can download the Hexflexel documentation so you can access it even if you don't have internet. Now to do this we're going to have to download a few Hexflexel libraries. So first one we will need to download is Flexel Docs. So we can just type into terminal hexlib hexlib git flixel docs and then paste the URL which we can access on this website here. So it's just here, this one there. I'll put a copy of this git repository location in the video description and paste that there and let that install okay so now that that is done and Flexel Docs is installed we can install another library which is required by Flexel Docs called Docs D-O-X to do that we can just write uh, hexlib install docs and that should install much faster because it's a smaller download and it's done and now we can actually generate the documentation and so to do that open up to your hex toolkit location and for me and for most people on Windows that will be the hex toolkit then hex lib and then go to flixel docs git api docs gen XML and double click on the batch file called genxml.bat. If you wanted to have another look at the location, you can look at this. So just run that batch file there, and that should be fairly quick. And then run this one in just the docs gen folder called gen docs. And that should be done now. Now, if we open up terminal again, we can CD into lo the location that the API docs were generated. So I'm just going to CD hex toolkit, CD hex, CD lib, CD flexel docs, CD git, CD API, and then all we need to type is Nico tools server just like that and click enter and it should say starting Nico server on local host colon 2000 and if we open up our web browser and go to local host colon 2000 we should see that we're greeted with the hexflexel documentation and we can go on flexel and then look at for example flexplant and we can access all of the API information and as you can see this is localhost this isn't uh, api.hexflexel.com which means that even if I was to disable my internet as long as I run this command I can open up to localhost 2000 to see the docs thanks for watching